Who is most likely to be late to practice? I'm not gonna rat anyone out here today, so. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for your time today, I really appreciate it. Of course. So I wanted to start off asking you how everything began, like the beginning. How did your passion for soccer start? So from like a young age, I played like all the sports, football, basketball, soccer, you know, anything. Um, I was a very outgoing kid. Mm -hmm. And basically my coach made me make a decision between um, all the sports, my club coach, around like uh, I think 12 years old. Mm -hmm. and. Just looking at like the other sports, I wasn't really that tall to play basketball. Mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't gonna get like super big to play football, so I kind of picked soccer because I think my body best uh, um, was like the best shape for a soccer player. So I picked that sport and I fell in love ever since. What does soccer mean to you? Like, how would you describe it? Um, it's like everything. Uh, if I have a bad practice, it ruins my day. Yeah. <laughs> um, it shouldn't, but it does. Uh, I mean, I base my whole schedule on soccer. What I eat when I go to when I go to bed. So everything is, my whole world is based around soccer. So in 2018, you joined FAU and became a part of the men's soccer team. Why FAU and why the men's team? Um, it was far enough away from home, mm -hmm. but close enough where I could go, but yeah. far enough where they can't come visit me <laughs> that often. And um, when I met with Joey and Robles at the time, mm -hmm. um, they made me feel like family already here, and I, I really loved it. And the, the visit, the location was awesome, and I wanted to be a be an owl. So let's talk about the season, last season. You assisted in the goal for the CUSA semifinals against Marshall. Can you tell me about what you were feeling during that game? I mean, yeah, it was, it was such a high at that moment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Marshall kind of killed us in the regular season. I think they were ranked like fourth in the country at the time. And, you know, I, I gave the speech to the boys that we all had to step up in this game. I was able to, uh, get the ball to Ivan who was you know he did all the work there to get the goal but um, I mean it was amazing it was a big team win for us and it was just I, I can't even explain it. I think about it to this day so let's talk about the future what are your future plans um, my future plans obviously I'm gonna finish out the spring and then I'm gonna play USL 2 it with the Charlotte Eagles this summer um, do my fall season with FAU and then whatever God has for me, whether it's play professionally or go into uh, real estate in the building business, whatever he has, uh, I'm gonna do. So pretty much who is most likely to, I'm gonna like name who is most likely to questions and you're gonna write in the whiteboard your teammate's name and explain why. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> cool, so then I'll start off saying, who is most likely to shoot a goal on their net by accident? I don't know if I spelled that right, but Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, you know, big center back. Uh, he's not very good at heading the ball forward, so you know, you never know where he's yeah. gonna go when he heads it. Who is most likely to get the most red cards? Oh. <laughs> Graham again. <laughs> Why? Because he has the most red cards. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to become a soccer coach? Ooh. Kevion. Why Kevion? Um, whenever we're in um, team meetings, mm -hmm. he answers every question. I mean, I don't even know how his brain works like that. I mean, coach asks him what the formation that our team's using, he knows everything right on. Mm -hmm. right okay. right, yeah. So, who is most likely to make it into a national soccer league? Alonzo. <laughs> Why Alonzo? Uh, I mean, he just, can I say that? He, he just signed for uh, Toronto, and I mean, he's easily our, our best player on the team, and he's class, and he shows on the field. So, who is most likely to dance in the locker room? Dance. Okay. Um, yeah. Damien. I don't know if I saw this wrong. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Why? Um, I mean, he's a big TikTok star, mm -hmm. so, you know, he's always got to gotta be dancing in the in the locker room making TikToks for his little videos. Oh, do you know his TikTok? <laughs> yeah, I think it's Day the Kid or something like that. <laughs> Shout out to Day the Kid. <laughs> Who is most likely to lock their key in their cart? Oh. Zach Hassel. Um, he's very forgetful. Mm -hmm. I'm always on him because yeah. of things like that. So 
I can really see him. If he had, he probably already has. I don't just know about it. He didn't tell me, but it just seems a very Zach thing to do. Who is most likely to scream during a horror movie? Manny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> For sure, Manny. Loudest guy on the team, and uh, his reactions are priceless, and they usually be screaming a lot. <laughs> Who is most likely to be late to practice? I'm not going to rat anyone out here today. So. The coaches. You know, they make us be 15 minutes early, and sometimes yeah. they be showing up a little late. So that's crazy, but. Okay, so they need an <laughs> alarm <laughs> and a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Blake, so much for your time today. I really appreciate it, and good luck with the rest of your semester. Thank you for having me, and thank you so much.